Thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this podcast. Hello. And welcome, welcome back to, to the Misfits, Misfits Podcast. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, my God. What the fuck, guys? Give ourselves a pat on the back. That was a lot of work yeah. for the day. All right. I'll see you guys. <laughs> Rated five stars on iTunes by Nick is good. Hey. He says, just say poggers. Don't even read out this actual review. Just poggers. I do not negotiate with terrorists. Poggers. Yeah, poggers. <laughs> yeah, do the face though. No one can see your face, dude. <laughs> your eyes are just open wider. <laughs> Pog? Pog? He's pogging with his eyeballs. <laughs> I joined today by Swagger Sauce. Howdy, howdy. Uh, Matt. Hey, yo, what it do? And also Mason, aka Zuckles. What's going on, boys? We're all here on the podcast, mm. sitting at a table with microphones in front of us, wearing clothes. It's just how it is. You know, just, just from like the waist up, though. Yeah. This is like the Corona when you're like on the business call. Mm. No pants are on at this podcast table. I mean, mm. I'm I'm you guys wearing pants. Yep. I am. Uh yep. yep. <sighs> so Matt, just like so just Matt, not wearing pants. But bro, you live here. I thought you'd be wearing like at least sweatpants or something. I thought it was weird. Yeah. I wasn't wearing pants. I'm wearing sweatpants, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's you don't a, go pantsless in your own house. No, what? But you live here. But I want to be comfy wherever I walk, dude. The free ball. That's like the comfiest, Matt, like most natural you're, way. You're just trying to backpedal here because you're clearly the only I'm one. I'm not backpedaling. I'm going straight you're forward. Back, back Wait, are you bro. rocking commando? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's got no yeah, pants like on. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I have a I have a hole in my pants, like right by my cock. Um, oh, actually, take a look. Which is great. Um, no. <laughs> uh, so if I was free balling, it would probably be like a lefty testy, just kind of stick it out. Lefty testy. Yeah. So good news. Mm. Uh, audio listeners, if you're listening on Spotify, there's a very good chance that you'll actually be able to see that right they, there. They'll see that. They'll see that. They'll, they'll see that. That thing right, right there. That right there. If wow. You, if wow that's insane that and they can see that. what a thing that it is. Yes. Damn. Incredible. I wonder how many yeah. people just unlock their phones to look now. Yeah, right. Spotify has got video, guys. You can listen to this ep- uh, this podcast 24 hours early on Spotify. It's it, a great platform. Yeah. You can stand on it. I think, I think what? All of the podcasts that we made with video are now going to be on Spotify as right? well. Yeah, I think it's oh, all shit. future past and present podcasts. No way. So, yeah. Man, we walked into the podcast set today and there was a dog shit on the floor. It smelled like shit. <laughs> was it really? I, I was like sitting there shit. eating food next to it. I didn't even smell it until I sat down here. I walked in, I was Some immediately like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> and there's just a massive shit on the ground. And the heater was on too, so it was just stirring. Oh, oh that's, <laughs> that's stirring fucking here. disgusting. It's okay though. It was How long was it there for? Uh, probably weeks. Really? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Slime just ran out. It looked kind of hot though, so it might have been a few days. No idea, honestly. Couldn't say. But, bit of bold, yeah. bit of bold we need to get some it. fucking puppy gates, dude. Puppy I, gates? Yeah, like gates for dogs. So they can, uh, maybe just a gate. Those, so they those come through. doors with the gates in them. You well, know, the, <laughs> you know the door, the door doggy holes. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> door like, doggy holes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a cat flap, you mean? Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Cat flap. I don't know. We need something because uh, we can't keep having dog shit on the set. No, no. It's not good, dude. Can't. Soon, I get my cat soon. Yeah, when do you get that? You've been talking about that for ages. Uh, they, the they, they just they just organized the flights. The breeder, uh, they're gonna fucking ship them across Tasmania. Oh shit! Oh, Tasmania. does he have to go through like the quarantine and all that shit though? I don't think so. He's gonna spend two weeks at a hotel. Yeah, yeah. A little can hotel. <laughs> no, I, I'm just gonna probably just gonna end up fucking picking them up from the airport. Just <laughs> get my cat case and be like, all right, all right, come you on. Just stand there with a sign that says "cat" on it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, where is it? What are you naming yeah. him? I. Uh, I wanted cat. to do a Twitter post that was like Twitter names my cat. Oh, and then it's a gonna be a bad idea, him. man. <laughs> but like, I don't know, dude. There's just gonna be some fucking people, and it's probably too mad. It's gonna be the one that fucking wins, or Carson, or, or fucking something. And I just don't know if I want to, if I want to get that the option. Uh, I'm thinking about Bear, like Theodore Teddy Bear, mm-hmm. uh, something like that. Because yeah. I had a, I had a cat when I was younger, uh, a couple of years ago. Um, who was like my favorite, and his name was was Teddy, mm-hmm. and I call him Bear. Teddy's a cute name for a bit, and the the cat looks kind of like a little Teddy. Yeah, yeah, little, 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 little brown, pretty short hair. Mm-hmm. Nice little kitten. Nice man. Yeah, I'm so hear that. I'm excited for that. My blood pressure will finally go. Because they got, All got the some pussy down. finally. Yeah, dude, <laughs> finally got some fucking pussy. There you go. That's all I needed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, pet, pets are really great. Yeah, yeah. dude. No. Bro, I want to get a pet, man, but I can barely take care of my own self right now, dude. 
Yeah, yeah. I, need, I, really I, said, I need to get like three videos up first before I get a dog. Yeah, yeah. he's over here talking about getting a fucking dog when he lives in the, in, like the, the what what story do you live in an apartment? Twenty seventh, twenty seventh story. It's fine, dude. <laughs> you want you a get dog. your pussy? I'll get him a, a fucking bitch. We'll be good. You should get a fish, Matt. And start yeah, with I was actually with thinking fish. about that today. I'm not even kidding. I'm like, dude, I could at least get a fish tank in the meantime. Why don't you get like legit. a lizard or something? A lizard. Uh, yeah, get, like a big one or a little one. Get like a snake. I was really interested in this lizard back in the day. Like it was called the thorny devil. Ooh, Ooh and it was like a spiky lizard, like with thorns all over. Yeah, it. yeah, I think and I've seen like, those. You could only find them in a specific part of Australia. Oh, that could be. Sick. Then you need a license for them, so I could never get one. But oh, it was it a sounds hard for you a license. You should get a license for a lizard. You would be able to like, pick it up and play with it. Like, yeah. It would just be spiky every time. Are those the ones that shoot blood out of their eyes? Uh, don't know about that one. Because oh, there, there's, like, there's like lizards that, that literally have uh, a defense mechanism where they shoot blood out really? of their eyes into like the faces Crying of like blood. things trying to what eat the them. Fuck? What the fuck? It's fucking insane, dude. It shoots like a stream. As if. Yeah, no, it's legit. When a horned lizard feels threatened by a predator, its final defense response is to shoot blood from the flooded, from these flooded sinuses and out its eye sockets. Jesus. So it shoots blood out of yeah, its nose it and eyes. It's a and then it like lizard. comes out of it like a tear duct. So imagine like you cry blood, except like it's like a pressure washer. What a concern. Oh, what? <laughs> He's going, going That's like that. Look at that. Yeah, it's, yeah, Jamie, what? Jamie, pull that out. Let me, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pull, pull it up real screen, quick. That's right fucking right like, oh, what the fuck? That's, that's, fucking crazy. that's not even like a little. Bro. That's like a full on hose coming out of its eyes. It's fucking the wild. The nature's fuck? fucking crazy. It's like some Damn, nature. Shit right there. Yeah. You should get a um, fucking iguana. You know what that is? Iguana. Ooh, iguana. Isn't that like, yeah. Kind of like, like green chameleon ones. kind of thing. No, they're big boys. They, yeah, they're found on the beaches. Big, they're big. like uh, the size of maybe a dog, like a large dog, actually. <laughs> really? Yeah. Pretty yeah. Pretty yeah. Fucking but big. they got like the rotating eye that goes like this, and they can like. Yeah, look that's a nice chameleon. Yeah, chameleon. Uh, I thought they're just like big chameleons. Oh like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Big, big old iguana. Oh yeah. 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 Like a yeah, little little thing. crocodile almost. But yeah, I'll just get fish. Sick. That sounds way easier than that shit. Fish? Yeah. I used to have fish tank as a kid. I was just lazy now, and you get like one of those auto feeders that just does it for me. Just like a decoration at that point. No, yeah. you gotta get an auto feeder. Yeah. Oh, what? Bro, bro, you know how much we travel with Ryan P. He just That's rocks the... up. He's like, "Hey, we're going fucking skiing today, bro. boys. Come what on, let's go." What would you feed a lizard that big? Um, Knowledge. Probably, <laughs> probably, you read to a, <laughs> probably like mints. Probably beef mints or something like that. Like well, just I said mints. Uh, what the herbivores? No, no, they, they're carnivores. They like eat insects, and I think they eat like they eat mice and shit too. They could probably go give quick. them mice. It, it frog some mice. Yeah, you probably probably give them like, mice. You want a treat? Just reach into the mouse drawer. <laughs> get a light <laughs> mouse, mouse out. Fucking feed it to them. Yeah. Or crushed up bugs, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how you would do it. But I think I think they eat like meat. You give them like a bit of steak, man. Uh, like kind of really, bro. really small. Bro, I can barely cook for myself. I gotta order Uber Eats for a goddamn iguana. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to fresh that. for the iguana, bro. <laughs> Matt, maybe you should get an auto feeder for yourself, man. <laughs> Honestly, not a bad idea. <laughs> not Tips a bad idea. Get the fucking there. get the what's it like the gerbil thing for water and yeah. shit. <laughs> you still get it editing. Just yeah. <laughs> have like a little a little cocaine drip as well, just to yeah. keep you going. Yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. that little bump on you, dude. Gamer steps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Um. I've been on a really big binge on YouTube. Uh, all these fucking videos are being recommended to me. It's about like terrariums and like life, like life in jars. Mm -hmm. There's this one where this guy will go to a beach or a pond or a river and he'll get like the substrate. So just like the sediment, the rock and shit and like, you know, make a habitat in a, like a mason jar and then fill it with water and then fill it with a bunch of plants and algae. And then he'll screw on an airtight container put it in front of a light and then he'll document um, all of the things that grow in it. And like, there'll be like, you know, he'll just pick up like random shit in the mix, things that like eggs or, or, or like things in like a larval state. And he'll just see like this fucking jar come to life and be like an, a self-contained ecosystem that what can last fuck? for years. Hmm. Like just cycling back and forth, like fucking insane. And I was thinking like, man, I kind of want to do that. What's he doing with your jaw though? Mason. I don't know, man. Like, I've been looking for it for ages. <laughs> fuck. Where this guy's stolen your jars, <laughs> creating life in that bitch. What the yeah. fuck? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. All right, it's going to a good cause, I guess. That sounds yeah. very interesting. It is. I mean, it's it, pretty cool. Is it that hard to do? No, no, it's really easy. I mean, it's you, just a jar. You literally just scoop shit into a jar with a bunch of plants, algae, and, and they just fucking watch it grow. You should get into that for sure. You're definitely the kind of person that will. Dude, that's yeah. like a North Pole shit. terrarium right there. Look at that. They just took a scoop. They got some penguins and shit there. From Mad Bula. The snow globe on the desk. Yep. Only if the audio listeners could see that. Oh, it Why brings me life. It's so cool. 
<laughs> yeah. If, <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, what is the, what is the liquid they actually use in this thing? It mm. looks like oil and just water. Yeah, it must be oil. Not sure. Yeah, you it guys, also holds pencils. You guys got a uh, COVID tested, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got well, I got tested go? today. You want to talk about your experience? Well, yeah, I, I went in yet. yesterday, and I went in with Chris and Kobe. And Chris already had been tested like a week before and because he thought he had symptoms and shit like that, but came mm-hmm. back negative, so he's all good. And then we had to get tested too. And so we went in. The drive through was the most monk-ass thing, like <laughs> just seeing all these fucking yeah. marquees set up with like people in suits and shit was like just so intimidating. They all had all the PPE gear. They had the fucking mask. They had the face shield yeah, and the yeah. gloves. They were mm. suited, dude. They must have yeah. just got back from like Radtown got a bunch of loot or some shit. Oh, probably, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, we went in and uh, I got my... Kobe got his first and it was so funny because he, he like... He got the throat... We had to get the throat swab and the nose swab. Same here. Yeah, and Kobe got his... When they put up his nose, he like... He like coughed. And the chick got like, you could tell she was a bit freaked out by it, like thinking that he had symptoms or some shit. Yeah. Cause like he told him that they had no, that he had no symptoms. And yeah, he like got up the nose and then he just started like coughing and then he like, he like pulled back and he just, he just couldn't take it. It was funny as fuck. Yeah. Those coughs yeah, was I flying I, out. I, I saw the video. He was, uh, oh, he yeah. looked like he was in pain. Yeah. He was scrunching his face up and shit, but like he can't help but do that. I think, I think it, it was because he in. kept his eyes open. Yeah. Like, if you close your eyes when you're getting a, the nose swab, like, I think it's a, li- it's a little bit easier. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Easier to deal with. But, you, you know, if your eyes are open, you're literally seeing the kind. Just like, yeah, going yeah, right yeah. into your nose. Oh. Is, it, is it better or worse than an injection? Like, um, I mean, I hate needles. Mm. Uh, so, you know, and injections really aren't even that painful. It wasn't painful. It was just like... Uncomfortable. It was like, so, like, you know, like you have like a, a long nose hair and it tickles and you're like, I really need to fucking pull that nose hair. Now imagine that nose hair was really long and 20 times as ticklish and it was going into the back of your <laughs> of your sinuses. Uh-huh. <clears throat> I, felt yeah. it, I felt it for like the next two hours. Like, just, really? Yeah, yeah. Like the feeling of the nose one. Really? Well, I just felt like there was something still stuck in there. Oh. It might be placebo. It has, that might have been yeah, the microchip they left. Yeah. Oh, shut <laughs> the fuck <laughs> up, dude. There are people talking about like... <laughs> I'm not going to get tested for COVID. This is a scandemic. They're putting microchips. <laughs> you know, oh God. I was looking at a bunch of shit uh, last night of like COVID news in Melbourne because of all the restrictions and shit that have recently mm-hmm. been put in. And I'm reading these comments, dude, and I'm like, holy shit, dude. It might have, it might as well have been Facebook. There were, yeah. people, oh my God. there were people going like, this is fake news scandemic. Only sheeple are going to take the vaccine, like that kind of shit. It's like hard this, to say. the population control. How many are trolls, though? You know, it's oh, hard to say. I don't, I think, don't know. I dude. went on Facebook for the first time in months from like back home in the U.S. and I was like, mm, nope. I, I know <laughs> I was out it, of that. It's bad. I, I know, it, like, it wasn't a troll because a lot of the people that were saying that were like boomers with uh, with the YouTube account is like their full name. <laughs> so still using I, I, Google I, Plus. I, I'm almost certain that they're just fucking idiots. Fuck. Oh um, which is which is fucking crazy. God help us all. Hey man, if the loonies don't want to take the vaccine, fine. But if all the normal, well-adjusted people that are like, yeah, fuck it, I'll take the vaccine. Like obviously the people yeah, like that some are, herd immunity from that, right? At yeah, least. well, there's herd immunity is the thing. If enough people are vaccinated, chances of spreading it. <laughs> I aren't saw be big. I saw on Facebook from some dude back home. He's like, guys, I got my mask to wear. And it was like one of those uh, like ping pong nets they oh, put yeah. on the table, and he's like wearing one of those. Ironically, <laughs> yeah, dude, this is like <laughs> the only this are. is like the only time that I could walk out in this getup, and and for the most part, no one would question it, <laughs> which Jay, is pretty man, epic. I mean, this guy's really taking it seriously. Yeah, yeah. Big, dude, I gotta be protected. Fight off the virus. <laughs> gotta be protected, dude. Fuck sake. Yeah, man, it's it's fucking crazy. Um, you know, because they they were like, you know, at the at the testing center today, because I got I got tested like an hour ago. Um, we rock up and they were like, do you have, like, we're only testing people with symptoms. Do you guys have symptoms? I don't have any fucking symptoms. And I just went, <coughs> um, uh, yeah, I have like a runny nose and, and it's, and it's also kind of blacked. And they were like, oh, okay, yep. Just come, come through and get tested. I was like, all right, cool. Wait, wh- wait, why'd you do that? So I can get tested. So wait, they don't lay you if you don't have any symptoms? Yeah, it's fucking bullshit. What well, if they're short on testing kits? Fuck. I guess they're just trying to prioritize. The- I, I get it, man. But at the same time. If if I want to get tested, like you know, they should be available. Yeah, true. Yeah, I mean, I guess that it's it's kind of silly because yeah, a lot of people don't have symptoms, but they still have. Yeah. Them, right? So 
curious. You know, who knows if I'm asymptomatic. And also, my nose has been blocked for like the last two months. So, mm. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> maybe if Swagger has it, we've already all got to do. Yeah, fine. dude, you guys hit every bong that I've hit. What you, every you got the face mask on, though. You wear that all the time hanging no, around us. No, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Peculiar times, my friends. It really, is, dude. Uh, it's like, it's very odd. I feel like if you read about this in history, you would be like, wow, that sounds really fucked up. But when you're in it, it's, it hits different when you're living it. Yeah, but you <laughs> know, it's almost like normal. Okay. You know, it's almost like, wow, that's all protected. It, fuck that like, guy. I don't want to be near that guy. It's like, as far as things go, <laughs> no, I know why he does this. He can make faces and you won't even see it on the camera. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> as far as things go, like, in terms of a pandemic, <laughs> this one's probably like the, the more tame. In terms of like lives lost and shit, like you I know, don't know, dude. You hey, see, man, uh, America lost a thousand lives like two days in a row. I, I'm aware. That's fucked. I'm, it is fucked, but it's not the Spanish flu, you know. Yeah, well, we all, it's the, not, all the death toll like for that. Yeah, I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> but all, all I know is that was that like exactly a hundred years ago too? I think eight, 1918, 1920. I think it was about like yeah, that. 1915 or something like that. Mm. Like I, you know, Spanish flu apparently was horrible because the people that caught it like almost always like fucking died. The, the mortality rate and, yeah. the, and the infection rate was super high. Well, we have a lot more medical advancements now. Exactly. You know, mm. and, and as, as far as it goes, I mean, I, this is like the first time like entire, like the entire world has just went, nope, no more economy. No yeah. more. Stay home. Yeah. Stay home, get payment. It's, it's like literally strange. the only thing that can affect like every country simultaneously. It is insane. That's like, fucked. when does it reach the breaking point and big business just decides like, okay, we just have to start like, I mean like. Is well, that's gonna, America. Uh, Look at America right now, I, to I, be honest. I yeah. know, but yeah, I guess America hasn't. They're well, Right now, work. they're finally, I think, realizing that they mm. don't really have a choice. But yeah. um, it's already just, too late over there. You know, th there's two viewpoints that, that I see argue back and forth. Uh, the, the first viewpoint is like we need to prioritize saving lives like we can't let this virus go out of hand we can't risk infecting people we have to all be conscious we have you know you know we just need to make sure that, that we value all lives so no one go to you know no one go to work no one go to school mm -hmm. everyone put your lives on hold until this thing is handled we have a vaccine then the other viewpoint is well if the economy crashes and no one has fucking money and no one has a job and no one can feed their families and no one can do everything. And then, you know, mm -hmm. more people are going to die as a result of the, of, of, of like the economic hardship than they would mm -hmm. if they, you know, if we just let the virus run rampant. Mm -hmm. And those are the two viewpoints I see online being flown mm -hmm. back and forth. Yeah. And it's, and it's a fucking tough question. There's no winning. There's, there, no there's, winning. there's zero winning. Yeah. In that. Yeah, I, th I definitely am more for Unless the Unless you're from New Zealand. <laughs> <laughs> zero cases, man. Jesus. Nuts. Yeah, well, they, they, weren't they saying there's like a vaccine that's actually like soon, soon? Yeah, very soon. soon. Like a couple got, months. The scientists are killing yeah. it by the looks of things. Yeah. Like They've got, impressive work. they have Moderna, they have AstraZeneca, which is another one. There's some really interesting vaccines, man, being like being put out. There, there's one that, that basically is like they take a virus and then they engineered this virus, like this man-made virus, to go into you and to infect your cells. And it'll inject genetic information into your cell. And then the cell becomes a factory to create, uh, I think it's uh, the spike protein, um, so that your body can detect the spike protein and then create antibodies for it. Mm -hmm. So then you have an immunity to COVID. Mm -hmm. Fuck. So, so we use a virus... To fight a virus, mm -hmm. which is pretty fucking sick. It's like a little Trojan horse situation. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, like literally, it's, you know, we, we're essentially making our own cells into mm -hmm. factories that mm -hmm. give us immunity. People thought 2020 we were going to be like World War Three, and now it's just virus warfare. Viruses fighting viruses. Yeah, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> dude, have you seen all the Bill Gates hate oh with, the, with the fucking COVID shit? I don't know where the hell that's coming from. I don't know. I've seen does a anyone, couple things. Does anyone know like where the hell that originated? Why everyone hates I, Bill I, Gates? I, I think it just started with tests. memes. I think like it started with fake headlines, like from the Onion and stuff like that, saying things like I don't know, just like Bill Gates. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I have honestly no idea. But I've just. I think it's just people eating the onion, basically. Probably. It's people just like believing fake set like satire news about Bill Gates, and then they're like hating on him on Facebook. Yeah, dude. This one <laughs> guy was like. Um, 
I, I, this fucking comment on, on the on the YouTube section was like on the YouTube uh, <laughs> YouTube section. Yeah. You say like the boomer on the yeah. YouTube's yeah, the YouTube like, section of the paper. <laughs> <laughs> it said like, um, I wouldn't trust Bill Gates. Uh, any vaccine from Bill Gates, you can't even cure a virus on his computer. <laughs> I mean, they do got a point. Gonna be honest. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Uh, dude. Thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring this podcast. Uh, they sent us a starter kit as well as a whole skincare box uh, that we're going to unbox and, and, and show you what's good. Whoa. What's in that shit? What's, what's in, in the box? Got what's a in the box? bunch of goodies in here. Oh, oh, show them. Show them. Uh, we got, got some, some loot. Got some shave butter. Oh, All right. Yeah, okay. I should use that. I fucked up my neck shaving. Some I need to use that shave do. Oh. Yo, oh, what it do? It's the do. What it do? Look at that. A nice razor, uh, as you can shit. see, Whoa. for shaving purposes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me see this. Just shave your eyebrow real quick. Give it a quick test. Dude, if you shave your eyebrow, go viral, man. <laughs> <laughs> well done, well done. What else you got? Uh, we got some spare razors. Yo, here, I'll yeah. shave part of my hand. Where's this shit at? Oh yeah, you got hairy hands. Well, like part of my arm. Let's see. Yeah. Prep scrub as well. Mm -hmm. Ooh. That's, oh, yeah. that's all in the starter kit. Incredible. And that's, that's really only $5. Good. Only $5. That's oh, fucking $5, five dollars for this shit? Oh, this know, is amazing. You know how expensive that's razor blades insane. are themselves? Like, that's a fucking steal. Like, yeah, homie. dude. How else are you going to cut your coke? You can it, do it for cheap now. <laughs> fucking hell, right? With the executive handle and blades. Oh, shit. I used too much. Fuck. He's used too much. Ah, uh, dude. Just rub it. No, He's rub overdosed it in. on the dude. Oh, rub it in. There you go. I can't rub that in, bro. That's a lot. You also have some renewing face moisturizer, which oh. you actually need because I've been a crusty motherfucker for a while. So crusty. <laughs> Yeah, right here. What a crusty guy. Look at oh, him. what the fuck? That shit's smooth as. Smooth as, bro. Oh, show the cameraman. <laughs> Our editor is actually like oh, flinching dude, right now. Like, <laughs> it's freaking out. <laughs> bro, and glide smoother than a baby's butt. How do I look? Don't say that. Why would you say that? How do I look, huh? You look, oh my God, actually so moist. Did you know that shaving is just one variable that affects how your skin looks and feels? What? No. Well, Enlighten is. me. Uh, well, I've just done that. Oh, shit. I'm enlightened. <laughs> I can now shave my face. Please give me the razor. Ah, the executive razor. This fucking glides so smooth across my chain mail. Actually, <laughs> actually feels really nice. Visit dollarshaveclub.com slash misfits to get the ultimate shave starter set for only $5 and round out your grooming routine by adding any of their other high quality products. After that, the restock box ships full-size products at a regular price. Regular price. Oh. Regular. Outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. They even have ball spray and butt wipes. You got ball spray ball and spray. What the butt fuck? wipes? Like, for your balls. For yeah. your balls. Really? Like, what's butt it wipes do? for... Like, let's... For your butt. For your butt, that's oh. right. Oh. Thanks to Dollar Shave Club for sponsoring Bro, this podcast. Fucking cheers. I'm stealing this shit. Y'all can get fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here later. Thank God. Thank God he's gone. Thanks like to the Dollar Shave Club for getting rid of Matt. This would be a great time for the billionaires of the world to step up and just give a crumb. <laughs> you know? It's yeah, like, you know. I mean, obviously, it's a uh, more complicated than that. Elon did the ventilators. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Amazon. Wasn't the guy that did Twitter, like, what's his name? Jack, I think he was, yeah. like, he donated yeah, a billion Harlow. dollars to test, no, like, Harlow, welfare or some shit like that. I think it was something like that. But, you know, hey, man, all I'm saying is. Yeah. yeah, let's whip a nay nay on let's this whip virus. Whip a nay nay on this fucking virus, yeah. dude. Just get it sorted out. I'm staying home, bro. Would you Would you take the vaccine if, if it came out? Fuck yeah, yeah I'll take the vaccine. I, I already would, got autism. I would probably wait a month or two months, um, and and see if people start dropping dead, <laughs> and and then I'll and then I'll be like, all right, because you know I'll, I'll still be isolating either way for the most part when vaccines are deployed, and mm -hmm. I think when vaccines are deployed, it's just going to be like given. Mainly to to people with pre-existing conditions and people that are that are old, you know, people that are at risk. Well, they'll have to do human testing before they, they release it. They right? have, yeah, they have. They, so, they've started it. it. It shows, you know, most of the vaccines are like really like three, they're like three or four or five. There's like a lot of vaccines that are being like developed, but there's there, there's so many different types of vaccines. So it's like they're trying to go for like a multi-pronged approach. Like if one fails, well, then we have this one, which is an entirely different thing. And this one, which is like an entirely different thing. I'll just get them all right now. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just, just puncture just, me up. Just acupuncture. Well, then you'll <laughs> have like no drop to bars with the signal on those microchips. 
You just give yourself COVID yeah. with only vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> like a really like, hyper intense case of COVID. Yeah. He's not spreading that shit around. Yeah. Super COVID. Super COVID. Uh, Imagine. So, like, w- just evolve. Fuck that. <laughs> Super COVID, man. Fuck. 2021. All right, guys. COVID 20 is now a thing. COVID, oh. COVID actually evolves into an, its own species and it was mm. walking around just fucking biting people. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hectic. I'd keep it as a pet. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a great little pet. Mm. I mean, when you get vaccinated, do you get like a little card that says I'm good and then you can do shit like catch a flight? I don't know. Probably, probably, I don't know. It, it really would depend. But I think mm. by the time like major vaccines are being rolled out and like probably most just give it to you before you doses, board the flight at that point. You know, the uh, vaccine? Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Well, if they just do Dude. that anytime you travel between countries, they stand there with the fucking the vaccine gun. Just would it be instant immunity if you got injected? I think, I think you need to wait like. A bit for it to like start and like to work. Yeah. I don't know. Like I, some I, long I, I don't. Flights. I, don't know. I think it depends for the vaccine. I think you know. I think it's like a case by case basis. I really don't know, and I don't think anybody really knows besides yeah. the scientists that are like doing double blind studies. Yeah. Um. You know, just let them sort it out. I. I. I think maybe another half a year, probably by the start of twenty twenty one, vaccines are going to be rolled out, and then hopefully by the end of twenty twenty one, we can kind of put the shit show more or less behind us and like actually yeah. live lives again. And then we're going to have to pick up the economy mm. <laughs> and see, how, see what, how that thing's doing. <laughs> I got a short bank. <laughs> Can how I many wait? live cases are currently in Victoria? In Victoria? Um, probably a couple thousand. Is it? Yeah. It It'd be a couple thousand up. now, right? Yeah. I'll check. I'll check. It's a couple thousand, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not, you know, the worst, but it's definitely fucking concerning as hell. Well, but, yeah. you know, masks are now mandatory here in, in Melbourne. Yeah, um, it's like a $200 general, fine. I think. They said it's like, what, a week now until they start giving fines? Yeah, but like, it's a week. Yesterday, I think, was the first day they started it, and it was like, everyone was Dude, wearing everyone, a mask. Dude, everyone was like, okay. Everyone's wearing a mask on <laughs> yeah. the way here. Like, shit, I want to be like drive. the U.S., fuck that. Mask up, bro. Yeah. yeah, everyone's wearing a mask, so it's good to see it. People I mean, wearing bandanas, too, which I don't yeah. think do shit, though, well, really. Well, it does more than not having anything. The face cup is isn't for like if you're healthy it mm-hmm. stops you from getting covid because it won't because it's not an air it stops seal. you from giving it to people right? it, sto- it just stops you from transmitting it to others like it, it reduces a probability yeah i don't know it's I just like to stop getting it you need like that full face respirator like the one i had that actually like covers everything because if you have the mask it's gonna yeah. like leak out through your nose and yeah shit. yeah, yeah. It, the special masks uh give you better chances it's, of, it's just decreasing the odds really i mean but you know, it helps. Yeah. yeah if everyone's wearing it, then it's like, no one's going to get it. You know, I don't know, man. Like, there, there's like, there's people that are like, I can't wear a mask because I have a breathing problem. I can't And it's breathe. like, well, if you get COVID, it's going to be even worse. Yeah, and, true. And also, a ventilator. and also, why don't you fucking wear a face shield? You know, that's not going to stop you from breathing, but at least it'll stop I mean, you from fucking sneezing on people. They're also just lying. I mean, the yeah. babies. Yeah. You know, so, I don't know fucking retards man <laughs> they ruin everything i swear to god they ruin everything yeah, those goddamn retards fucking idiots the worst people not actual retards yeah, of course they, th- those guys you said those are chill they're chill yeah <laughs> those <laughs> so those guys those, <laughs> those. Yeah. and probably girls i'm sure there's yeah, a, couple sure. Of, a couple of girls that are also retarded yeah of course yeah if you are like turn up like do Dude, your thing fuck it up yo let's get a round of applause for all the retards <laughs> It's just him. Oh, it's just, oh just, my god. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, guys, be sure to watch on the video on Spotify if you want to see what Cameron just did. <laughs> I just I have my hand in my pocket. I just can be us bringing oh, it yeah? up. Yeah. <laughs> Red Fox. Holy shit. What was that? You thought I was yeah, doing? That's what I yeah, thought yeah. you were doing. Like Jesus doing. Christ. No, I was just no, laughing no. my chest. Oh my God. I was laughing because you were the only one clapping. No, it's epic. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. Right. We love you guys. Yeah. No matter who you are, unless you don't wear a mask. In which yeah. yeah, then you're a fucking idiot. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, honestly. But I mean, everyone's kind of sick to death about hearing about this shit. I mean, mostly, yeah. most people who aren't ignorant pieces of shit know what's a what. Dude. They keep it up to date, they keep it informed. The anti vaxxers man, when when they when they come out and just I don't know. It's just like the word this this fucking pandemic really highlights how how truly, truly stupid and brainwashed mm-hmm. people are when when they're just fed misinformation online. It's just social media, I feel like just using really that as your source man. of news. Fucking Facebook, fake Facebook news. Yeah. Uh, That's yeah. fake news. I get my real news on Facebook. It's it's the weirdest thing because like a lot of them seem like they're trying to come from a place of like intellectualism where they're like actually being smart and like they feel like they're the ones being woke yeah. and conscious, but it's just they're so far removed from reality that they're just delusional. They're delusional. 
Yeah, but I really don't think that it's as big of a problem. Well, actually, you know, it definitely is, right? Yeah, it is. It it's definitely a big is. problem. Like, this pandemic has really highlighted just how many dumbasses there are out yeah. there. I, but I, I love watching. You know, you know, critical, right? Charlie, mm-hmm. more, most critical yeah, on YouTube. He, he, he has like this series that has been going for like the last month or two months of just Karens. Like he has so many Karen videos of like Karen meltdowns and freakouts because once the restrictions were lifted, dude. There were just all these postmenopausal or <laughs> or you know menopausal women mm-hmm. that were just fucking coming out of their cave with the husband that they hate, and then just taking out all of their anger and all their paranoia and their frustration on poor fucking workers that were just <laughs> trying to serve them like bread and red lobster. All the <laughs> bread and red lobster, yeah. the only the, the staple diet of Karen's yes, worldwide. Yes, dude. Go to Red Lobster, <laughs> get, get that cheesy bread, uh, and, then, and then and then fucking get angry because you were asked to wear a mask and fucking throw a tantrum and try to fight the waitress. Karen's uh, crawling their way out of the crack. Insane, dude. Oh my god. What is it what is it, man? Like I don't know if it's just because like people just have their phones and the Karen meme is so big and so p- any time a, a middle aged woman has a has a meltdown, like it's just recorded. Or or it's it's just like maybe it's like a new disease. <laughs> maybe maybe it's maybe like that's a the effect of Corona. Yeah. Maybe that's what it is. They're the ones not wearing masks and then they go crazy. It causes uh, hysteria. Karen's been yeah. for a while. Corona man. causes Karen's. Shit, it we figured it out, boys. It's definitely generated a few more, I think. Karenovirus. Karenovirus. <laughs> we need some new, like, call out whenever there's, like, a Karen, you start recording it. You know, with fights, you'd be like, World Star! We need something where there's, like, a Karen doing some shit. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, people just film everything these days. Freakouts. You know, there's always someone around with the phone. That's all it is. Yeah, I, I like to think, you know, when it comes to a lot of those freakouts and, and meltdowns, and, and not even just the Karens, but just, like, anybody... That is just like yelling and screaming at people and just having a breakdown. You know, I always be, I always just like feel bad because I'm sure like those people like are actually pretty nice when they're, when they're not like, mm-hmm. like that. I just think it really just comes down to like somebody had like a really, 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 really fucking bad day yeah. and, and they were just caught yeah. in, in their emotions. They are, uh, they are evil people most of the time. Yeah. You know, unless they're racist, in which case, yeah. like, <laughs> you know. it's definitely like a bit of hatred there, you know, a bit of evil. Well, yeah. But it's, you know, almost always just out of ignorance or frustration, yeah. right? Like, as most things are. And I feel like most things like that are also just out of insecurity. Like, they don't like being told what to do. They're like bottled up. They're fucking angry and then just explode. Because it's like, yeah, well, some, the, who are you to tell me what to do? I'm well, fucking. the worst is when they're like, according to the Colorado state statute and limitations, I'm actually not legally required to wear a mask indoors. Yeah. Uh, which, you know. Yeah. You know, that's the fucking worst when you, when you have to deal with a person that thinks they're a fucking lawyer. The sovereign citizens or yeah, whatever. Yeah, dude. Sovereign citizen compilations are my, are my lifeblood. I fucking love it. And have you seen those videos? Are they just videos of people that think they are above the law. Yeah, yeah. well, it's people. Yeah. The cops it's, will, like it's, tackle it's, them when it, they refuse arrest. It's like so it'd be like a guy in a car that gets pulled over and starts fucking filming himself because he thinks he's in the right and he's gonna epic own this cop, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then he's sitting there and the cops like, "Hey man, uh, yeah, you were speeding. I need you to roll down the window." And then they roll it down just to fucking crack so yeah. that they can hear him. And then they're like, uh, "Yeah, I need like your license and, and registration." And he's like. I am a free citizen of planet Earth, <laughs> and I am traveling. I There is no law. I get traveling. He's like, sir, I need your license and your registration, and it'll be a back and forth for like 10 minutes, and mm-hmm. the cop will just be like, okay. There was a video of this fucking cop just grabbed the top of the windshield and fucking shattered it, <laughs> no chased the guy and pulled him out. No shit. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> How hard is it to give to give someone your fucking license when they ask for it, man? I just don't understand. It's like a fucking five year old, you're in time I out. Don't understand. No, I don't understand. I mean, to. like, I can see where they're coming from, man. Like, you know, who are these cops? Like, <laughs> you don't know. You don't know if he's a real cop or not. Like, you're just living on some land. It's true. Maybe you, you like made your own little country just out in the forest. You know, you're, uh, sure you're within the borders of the United States, but like, this is like, your country. Like chop, like like they they Chaz chop thing in in what was it Portland or was it in Seattle? What? The Chaz? Chop, Chop and Chaz. Was that in DC? I thought. No, no, Chaz. no. That was that was. You know what that is? It was like a, a Capitol Hill yeah, economy. DC. Zone. Yeah. Capitol was that Hill. was that in DC? I think so. Yeah. I thought there was. Yeah, like, yeah. That was in DC. Yeah. Was, was DC. it really? Yeah. Holy shit! That's fucking crazy. What? You guys know Explain what that it. is? No. 
basically like this was like when all the all the protests and stuff were happening uh the, like the, the the black lives matter and 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 that, and that kind of stuff mm-hmm. they uh, a bunch of protesters had, like took like an area with a police precinct in it and then they like set up like their own autonomous zone so like they were trying to make like a garden and they were like it was pretty much <laughs> like a, about the land off yeah the kind of thing. essentially uh-huh. it was, you saw it, pictures of the garden they made it was <laughs> it was it was pretty you know hey man it was a good effort <laughs> it was a it was good, a good effort. <laughs> you know like I thought it was I thought it was great because I you know I look at like a lot of a lot of like those protests and it's like people like making their own shields and like riot gear and fucking like their own weapons and I'm like oh well this is pretty much like extreme LARPing yeah uh, but no it was it was really interesting because they they were like labeling it as like their own like their a own country essentially almost. like like a country yeah and uh, and then it was you know then there were like a bunch of shootings and rapes and, oh my God. and shit within and then, the country within the country so Wait, how know, many people were involved i don't know a couple hundred maybe a oh, couple thousand shit. um and then they had like police go and just fucking tear it apart mm. <laughs> just be like okay no more no more chaz mm. it's really weird it, it's always like that it's always in like portland and oregon <laughs> and, <laughs> and and like seattle mm-hmm. and in areas like that where it's just like yeah. I don't know, man. Fucking <laughs> liberals. Know. It's so weird. <laughs> no, I'm, not, I'm not making a political statement. All, all I'm, no, I'm, all I'm saying is it's, it's just a little bit weird to be like, yeah, I'll protest, but also, yeah, let's make a country. <laughs> it's just uh, like, let's get weird with it. Yeah, Fuck it's it. just getting a little bit freaky. <laughs> hey, man. Next level, dude, bro. first fucking amendment. Fuck yeah. Right to protest and assemble and not wear a mask. <laughs> Jesus. I fucking love the American state. <laughs> So great. Oh, uh, yeah. No, everyone else loves you, too. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Dude, uh, yeah. We love you guys. Wait, 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 wait. I can't reach you. Yeah, can't. Uh, yeah. So right. good. The, the intention was there. I miss your embrace. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's been thinking about going off the grid lately. He's been talking to Eliza. We should just get an island and just live off the land. Fuck it. We get some solar panels out there. Get Rust. an island. <laughs> Rust. Rust. Oh, Rust. Oh, yeah, go back some trees up. with rocks. Yeah. Start yeah. a campfire. Hunt Someone some spawns animals. on the island. You chase I feel them like, with the rocks. I feel like, I, I, like that's a one-way ticket to be like, to, to, to pretty happy? much a cult. Uh, <laughs> so happy. Yeah. To yeah, so happy. <laughs> Have you seen how happy they are in cults? Yeah. It's, right. They were really happy when they let the cult leader fuck their wife. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it was so God's happy. way. So. It's God's way. It's God's way. You know, we'll have a podcast and everything. The Misfits Cult. Yeah, the Misfits Cult, dude. I'll change my name to Ezekiel. I'll live off the land. I reckon I could go pretty hard in, in on an island. Yeah. 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 I mean, you say that always. I just couldn't deal with shit like snakes, man. Like, what the fuck do you even do? Kill snakes them. Eat them. Chill, dude. Like, no, chill. they're not, man. They'll grab your leg and then snakes don't want to leg. smoke with a human being. Yeah, bro. Like, snakes are pussies. They're like, Mm-mm, nope. Like just don't fuck away. with the snakes. Like you see one, just just be like, ah. Well, I just like stay away from like really bushy arees. Like, mm. like oh, I I like to all bush. Hey, uh, so awkward. Why did I say hey? God, I'm so awkward. What are you tired? <laughs> <laughs> are you tired or something? <laughs> I am a bit tired actually. Thanks for asking. Drink, Drink some, some gamer, gamer subs. subs. Oh, I have yeah, been. I have really? been, and it has been helping. It has yes, been dude. Gamersubs.gg code misfits. Mm. Another sponsor of ours, but. Check out Dollar Shave Club first Check and foremost. Out Dollar Shave Club. Who's the sexiest character in SpongeBob? Go. <sighs> Fucking three, two, one. Larry Patrick. the Lobster. Larry the Lobster. Oh yeah, actually, yeah, yeah probably Larry. Are you fucking kidding me? Any see other the arms on that boy? Thing? Oh, Sandy yeah. thick under that. Under that oh, suit, dude. Under that suit, you see her? You see her wearing the suit a lot. She just wears like her bikini. She's not. She's like a, you built like a board. Wait, you're saying Sandy? Yeah. You reckon she's the sexiest? Yeah. You would though. <laughs> <laughs> you would say that Yeah she she probably thick bro Yeah she probably yeah, is she's probably thick. Yeah dude Sandy Cheeks <laughs> Sandy Cheeks yeah. yeah She's a squirrel and likes nuts There you go Yeah, yeah dude yeah, Cheeks bro. in two ways Yeah man Alright sexiest character in I was gonna say like a children's show And then I realized that you're all kids uh, <laughs> 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 Kai, hey, Kai, you and little Einstein's go no, yeah, um, no. This is probably a bad game. We've actually already oh. talked about this as well. Yeah, Did we? Yeah, we can't really recycle. We, s- we talked sexy about sexy cartoon sexy characters. Sexy cartoon characters. Yeah. Um, Must not have been there for that one. Mm. Mm. What's your? What was your favorite show like growing up? Let's say between ages five to ten. What was your favorite show? Ed and Eddie. Oh, Ed and Eddie. Ed Ed fucking ten? Eddie. Yes. Probably SpongeBob. That was like the big thing SpongeBob back then. At that well. age, that was was like peak SpongeBob. Which like spliced on ABC. Spliced. It was like just a bunch of creatures that were like fucking on an island that were like mixed together. Huh. It was like I don't know, like 
a weird fucking rooster and cow mixed together and like it's I've never seen it. Must have been like a expensive. Australian show. Yeah, yeah, I think it was. Yeah. Didn't you guys have like the the one with the two knights? Oh yeah, the big knights. The big knights. Yeah, that's big knights. good as. <laughs> I was so what? fucking good. Big knights. Yeah. For me, my timeline was uh Teletubbies, you know? Very young age, Teletubbies, mm -hmm. even though that the fucking bear and lion scared the shit out of me. Oh, that's <laughs> right. We watched that bear clip after one of the podcasts. We're talking yeah, about that. That was like, fucking horrifying. Um I'm then the it bear. then it would maybe be the wiggles, fucked with the wiggles for a long time. Mm. Then I started getting a little bit into um you know, hardcore like, porn. Hardcore <laughs> pornography. <laughs> Anal uh bitches thirty seven was my favorite. No. Um man, what else did I watch? Fucking Codename Kids Next Door. Uh, was, oh, that was a good one. Yeah, yeah, it was a really good one. Ed, Ed, and Eddie for sure. Kind of network, just just the jams. Do you remember the 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 Kid Next Door episode where like they they were going up to like that roller rink or something, and it was like where where like the the the, the teenagers like become men, like where boys become men, and I it remember. was like the entire episode was like revolving on this kind of idea that they were you know all the teenagers were going up there to fuck and <laughs> what yeah dude and they they literally um there's there's a scene where like you know the the, the five go up to like the the parking lot at, at the base of the hill where like you know they have to go to the top of the hill to fucking see what what the the, the adults are getting up to uh -huh. and there's a car and the car is like rocking back and forth and mm -hmm. then they open up the door and scream and uh, it was just like, it was like the car was a mess. And right. like, that was the joke. Right. And, you know, as a kid, I remember watching the episode and just being like, oh, ha ha, yeah, the car is a mess. Yeah. But now I watch it, I'm like, oh, they were fucking. That's one for the adults. <laughs> they were going to fucking, man. There's a lot of stuff like that. Even in like Disney, well, maybe Pixar. Yeah, more Disney. Pixar. There's a lot of little innuendos for the adults. That's the good shit, though. Like, that's how to make, like, yeah. an family entertaining movies. thing. That's all they're family, family movies. movies. Yeah, it's that under the radar jokes that the kids want to get. Shit's amazing. It's like Shrek. Yeah, what else? Courage the Cowardly Dog. Although that always oh, kind of was like weird. That shit was Flapped. like an acid trip. Always kind of grossed me out a bit. Yeah. Flap, yeah. Flapjack fucked with me. Yeah. If you guys ever watched Flapjack, yeah, I, didn't, I didn't. Fucking mm -hmm. horrible. Invader Zim. Invader kind of Zim. Yeah, that one. Roar XD, man. Is I that knew, where that I, started from? I knew so many hoes in fucking high school, middle school, bro, that were just fucking obsessed. They would let Invader Zim dick them down if they had the opportunity. What? What? what he had sex appeal? D apparently. Or, or that fucking or that fucking uh, guy with the black hair who's like uh, the antagonist to, yeah. to Zim. He's always trying to figure him out. What the I fuck was his name? I can't remember. I didn't watch it. Not Man movie. Dark. That was from, that was from uh, Dexter's, Dexter's Lab. Lab. Yeah. Ha 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 Samurai Jack. Oh, I've never seen that one. Fuck with Honestly, Samurai Jack. Honestly, a work Jack. of art. Samurai Jack was. Have you seen the new season? No. Fuck it's good. so good. Really? It's, it's Samurai Jack with blood and murder. As if. Shit. So good. Still a kid show, technically? Or? No, not really. It was Adult Swim. Oh, at that point. Adult that's, Swim that's, always does uh, good work. That's Gandhi Tartakovsky. I, I think I said his Dude, name right. Gandhi, man. He's back he, from the dead. Yeah. He made uh, he made uh, another show called Primal, which was really good. It was made like a caveman befriends like a baby dinosaur, and it, mm -hmm. it goes hard. It's very graphic, very good. Like his style of animation is so comic book like inspired. Mm -hmm. I fucking love it. Damn. Very very cool. You ever watch A Land Before Time? Yes. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Yes. The dinosaur film. Good. I yes, think I remember that dude. in theaters, and they gave out like little like. Hand puppets, or was that McDonald's? I think they Maybe gave it, it was out. McDonald's. Yeah, do yeah. you remember having those? Yes, dude. You I leave remember. it in the car and you come back the next day, it was just like a flat, mushed mess. It, it melted fucking, in the heat. Yeah, it was pretty fucking <laughs> That's horrible. just a Florida <laughs> thing. I don't know. <laughs> I loved the Lamb Before Time, man. That really got me into dinosaurs. Oh my God. Who's, who was the, the little dinosaur that goes like, yup, yup? Oh, I fucking can't remember. I can't remember. All I can remember is that deep, deep. Deep, deep water. That song, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. all I remember. No, that was that was fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah, pretty pretty tragic actually. The voice actor that did the yup yup thing. Yeah, but, why? Uh, she was murdered by her father. For what? Oh shit, that's right. Yeah, when she was like eight or nine years old. She yup too many times. <laughs> Sorry, it's just, it's just terrible. I swear <laughs> to God, you do that sound one more time. <laughs> no, no, I was. Yeah, I don't know why I even brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> It's so awful. Wow. Yeah. What a tragic <laughs> note to land before time. Uh, could have been worse. I wish I could go back to a land where I didn't fucking know that shit. God damn. Um, should have took a roofie. <laughs> we were talking about roofies before the podcast began. Just how like, you know. You know, just normal boy talk. <laughs> yeah. Just locker room talk. Yeah, guys. <laughs> you ever dabble in some roofies? 
<laughs> Girls locker room versus boys locker room. I can just talk about rumors. Yeah, he's like, Betty, does my ass look big? And the guys are like, yo, quaaludes? Or should we do like. <laughs> what do quaaludes feel like? Apparently, really good. Apparently, sick. Apparently, they're not like they don't make them anymore because there's yeah. like other drugs that are like even better than them now and are like there cheaper to make. But I swear, nothing hits like a good quaalude, apparently. Mm. Quaaludes. What a fucking name for a drug. Why well, I had to make it sound so cool. Yeah, it's a quaalude, man. Yeah, bro, I'm just gonna fuck, hit, fuck with pop a couple bit. of quaaludes. Yeah. Now Chill. it's like, now it's like, oh, I'm gonna pop a Zan. It's like, what are you? F- are you fucking zoomer? Are you fucking, fucking zoomer? SoundCloud rapper? Get out of here with your Zan. Dude. Man. 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 I don't, wanna, I don't really want a quaalude right now. I'm going to be real with you guys. I'm going to level with you. I want to watch a quaalude and watch a lamb before time. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a night with the boys, dude. Yo, quaaludes, lamb before time. Yeah, bro. Get a six pack, watch Titanic. Fuck yeah. And jerk off later. I don't know. Yeah. Mm. It's desperate times, man. We're locked up. COVID. Locked yeah. up in COVID. Yeah. What else are you going to do, man? Options are low. Options are limited. Options are limited. Fuck, man. I almost fell in love with Uber Eats driver the other day. Did you? Yeah, it was like first human contact in a week. Mm. How'd it go? Not well. No. <laughs> like pepper sprayed, but oh, uh, no. I drive. Yeah. Oh, dude, you, I swear it's weird. You can almost see it in people's eyes, like just like when you run into people. Yeah. Now they're just like, they, they want to talk to you and socialize just from being locked up now. I, I never get yeah. that. Uber Eats drivers. <laughs> <laughs> Uber Eats drivers are really starting to like fucking annoy the shit out of me. <laughs> they're, they're doing God's work. Yeah. You know, when I fucking say leave oh. at door, oh, no, I agree with them. fucking yeah, yeah. leave it at the door. Put it down. Yeah, they stand there fucking holding it for you and shit, put it so. down, knock on the door, fucking turn around, take your dumb picture and go. You know what it is, though? I think the reason that they don't just leave it at the door is because people would like just say they get scammed, I think. Or like or maybe occasionally they get the wrong the address wrong. Well, yeah, that's why they take the picture. I feel like they're trying to do it just to be nice. So you like rate them up on delivery. Dude. But really, they're just being counterintuitive. You guys can criticize Uber Eats drivers all you like, but I have the loveliest man who delivers my uh, breakfast almost every day. Like I somehow get the same guy and he's this like <laughs> nice, he's a sweet old Indian man. He's got a very like loving face, kind eyes, a nice bushy mustache. And he goes, hello, Cam, like that. And Aww. he leaves my bag on top of my little like little wall above my gate. He goes, have a good day, like that. And I'm like, thank so nice. you, I love you. I see him a few times a week. He's my favorite. I tip him. That's cool. Yeah. You know, the, the fucking last experience I had was the guy that fucking spammed my doorbell and broke the intercom when, when, <laughs> when you when you and I uh, Mason were over. Oh, yeah. <laughs> broke yeah. his doorbell. It was just going like, k- 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 yeah. k- k- for fucking hours. I was I was so fucking mad. How'd you fix that problem? I I asked my realtor, uh, "Can you come over and fix it, please?" And he said, "Sure." And then he came around and he was like, "I have no idea how to fix this." And then he messaged the uh, the actual landlord. And they said, "Yeah, just rip it off the wall." <laughs> and then uh, he what, was rip like, "The console off." Yeah, and he the was fuck? like, "What? How?" They were like, "Just push it in and up," and it literally slid off the wall. And he and he was like, "Okay, now what do I do?" And he's like, "Um, well, there's, there's no off switch, right?" He's like, "No." He was all right. We we'll just rip the wires out. So we just fuck. Really? Pop the wires out of the back and put it back on. I actually have a guy coming to Monday to like <laughs> fix it, but I really don't care. I don't know. I'm fucking moving out of there in a couple of months. Who fucking cares? I don't even use it. <laughs> Fuck, yeah. My house is big and nice, but man, it's a piece of shit. I don't know how half of it works. Why is it? Why is I that? Every I house is like that. I didn't really know. Fancy first world Dude, complaint I didn't, I didn't know I had I had heated floors until what? like until like four months in when I was like, why are my floors so warm? And And, and I was like, oh. Oh, they're, they're heated. <laughs> and then I figured it out. And you don't notice that. And I don't know. I mean, it was why my fucking uh, electricity bill was a thousand a month. Jesus, <laughs> what? Yeah, it was pretty Yeah, wasn't it misfits? Wasn't it fucking nuts there, too? Oh, no, it wasn't because we had no heating. Oh, that's right. We had no hot water. Yeah, we the had no hot water and no and heating. We had a gas bill of zero dollars <laughs> for a month. And a pool with dead bird in it. Yeah, yeah, a pool with dead bird in it. <laughs> Eventually turned green. Yeah, and it brown. turned green a bunch and of green times. Again. Remember when we swam in it three times? <laughs> when we had it for a year? That was it, yeah. You guys haven't been the same since. No. Yeah. <laughs> no. Soon, soon, we'll swim more. We have to wait. Bro, why is every summer. fancy house yeah. like that? Like, they look nice, but really they're shit and they break all the time. Like, the pool has never worked at any house we've had. It's because rich people have money to spend, so why not make everything counterintuitive and make sure that everything breaks down as frequently as possible so that you have to shell out more money for, for more repairs? Yeah, they which... get that constant dopamine hit of spending money. Yeah, there you go. I guess so. Oh man, what a conspiracy theory that is. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's just because um fuck you. Mm. Yeah, that would be my guess. What, what, uh, do you, what do you think about that? How you feel about that one? Fuck you. Oh yeah. 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 Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> fuck you.
Fuck you. He's going to the sad corner. <laughs> oh, fuck, I've really done it now, haven't I? Dude, fuck you. Look what you did to him. You do, man. Bad, you know, fuck I you. I feel bad about it. Now he's just sulking. Fuck. I'm sorry. How can we... Sorry, man. I forgive you. Oh, oh thanks, man. Yeah, no well, problem. Are you sure, though? You know what no, saying actually, I don't know. Oh, fuck yeah. I have to resolve this later. You're going to make a twit longer about this? Nah, <laughs> I don't know, man. You got roofies and land before time. So oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Do it claim some land before time. It was some roofies. Nah, yeah. What am I even stressing about? What am I even stressing about? Oh, oh man God. What else is new? Hmm. Nothing Fucking yeah, nothing yeah, It's so just, boring just Dude, cool. yeah, so it boring. sucks It's the same Remember shit Remember this bro. podcast Just be like Look at all these wacky things These YouTubers are getting up to <laughs> now, 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 Guys now, are in lockdown now, 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 now it's like Fucking in lockdown you Fucking What do I do? I fucking I, I wake up at 10, I take a shower, I go to my office, and I sit on the chair for fucking 12 hours, and then I go to sleep. Mm. That's it. I'm just, I, you know, have you ever seen that fucking picture? It's just like, you're living the dream. Like, people saying, like, oh, you're a YouTuber, you must be living the dream. And it's like the dream, and it's just like uh, a guy <laughs> sitting down with the three monitor set up. There's a jewel and, like, a bunch of trash on the desk. And he's just, <laughs> and it's like the, the clock says, like, 3 a.m. And he's just, like, looking down like that. <laughs> looking at a subscriber <laughs> count. <laughs> yeah, he's basically, you know, man is the dream, I guess. Yeah, no, absolutely yeah. living the dream. Can't travel, man. Can't travel, can't well, go look, anywhere. We can't complain, like, really. I mean, we didn't, yeah, remember we, you were complaining about <laughs> you're not getting your furniture deliveries. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, man, I ordered all this furniture. It's not going to arrive till October. It's like, dude, yeah. people are losing their jobs. People are losing their jobs. You're losing their business. Like, we're, we're fine. Like, and you're like, it's a matter of perspective. Like, we're just, we're, you know, we're fine. All things considered, we're doing very well. We're literally in the best possible position to be dealing with this uh, yeah. crisis. Yeah, nothing really has changed for me. It's just like, I don't even have the option to go outside. Not that I usually <laughs> took it. It's right. not that I like going outside. Right. It's just I miss having the opportunity. Yeah, yeah. honestly. I mean, we're lucky it's at least winter right now, so it's True. like you're not hurrying yeah. to go outside anyways. True, yeah. Although, we'll see. Maybe the cases will spike again when summer comes around and people are like, oh, that's fine. Let's go to the beach, man. Yeah. Bro, get corona, get the vaccine, get it all done by summer. So when summer rolls around, we can all go to festivals again. That's all I want. <laughs> that's really the only thing I want at this point. Yeah. All true. right. You hear that, government? We, get we need on the that vaccines shit, damn it. Matt, Matt wants really to go to wants... a festival. I want to go to a festival, damn he it. Wants get to go to a shit festival. Face. We need to get these vaccines ASAP. Matt wants more MDMA, okay? Please. Stop. <laughs> 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 <Yes. laughs> Ever. <laughs> I would never believe these guys. Uh, never, never. Uh, Not on that. Um, yeah. Um, well, another news. <clears throat> fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck me. <laughs> fuck me. Fuck you. No. Fuck, fuck me. You. Oh, fuck. I still got eight minutes left, guys. I'm oh, really getting desperate. Oh, fuck me. Uh, um, okay. Um, let's talk about uh. Favorite. Um, You're gonna say favorite. Uh, favorite. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, flavor, flavor, flavor <laughs> of <laughs> soup. Uh, pumpkin. Yeah, same oh, actually. Not bad. I, I, I'll I, be the guy and say chicken noodle. The, the pumpkin, <laughs> the, the pumpkin soup we had in fucking uh, in France was fucking. Oh, that's that shit. I was just thinking about that. That was the fucking best. Fucking slapped. Oh but my god. Some bread with butter. Mm. Yeah. I <laughs> I would go with minestrone. Menstruation? Minestrone. Menstruation. Minestrone? Don't yeah, go minestrone. that hard. What is that? Is that with the beans and shit in it? Yeah, it was the beans and the... Like, minestrone is just pretty alright. It's, it's nice. It's nice. Tomato soup's good, too, but it's a little bit too plain. Um, Yo, remember on the way to that restaurant to eat the pumpkin soup, we saw the guy get rolled out on the street? Oh, my God. I remember that. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah we, were walk, we were walking down the street. There was an ambulance. We were literally walking down the street in Paris to go to, to some restaurant, and... Mason like sees this ambulance parked outside of a house and he goes, Oh, we watch this. This is gonna fucking roll out a dead body or some shit. And <laughs> literally two seconds later, a fucking lady comes out on a stretcher and, and he just goes, Oh shit. <laughs> like that. And you're They're like, just oh, rushing out man. with the body on like a fucking a little stretcher. And a stretcher. <laughs> and I was really like, quiet. what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, you're fuck, like, Oh my huh? god, I called it. Uh, you know, I mean pretty good probability that they were there for an emergency. Uh, uh, so, you know. 
But yeah, it was pretty epic. Anyways. Totally forgot about that shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I kind of go see um, Paris again. Like we were only there for like what one night or something. We didn't get to like see the Eiffel Tower or anything I special. Mean, I yeah. feel like it's you, good. Yeah, you were there we with think... Toby for a while. Yeah, right? I was there with Toby. Oh, that's right. You guys were there. Lo- oh, we were only there for like a yeah. night. Shit. You were eating chapstick. <laughs> yeah, I was eating chapstick. <laughs> <laughs> you're in Paris eating chapstick in your Airbnb for an entire day. What? <laughs> Yeah, I was just yeah. local French Toby, delicacy. Toby was filming me, and and she's like, "Take a bite of this chapstick," and I'm like, "All right, <laughs> filming me." I'm just like, "How'd it taste?" It tasted fucking yeah, good. <laughs> yeah, real good. It's like strawberry it flavored. Some uh, shit. I think it was just normal. Oh, like, that's, just yeah, normal. that's yeah. worse. It just tastes like Fuck. chap. Yeah, when I was six years old, I ate chapstick. Oh, my yeah? si- my sister she hated a lot. me. Just uh, I hated you. Yeah, she hated me because I ate all of her ch- all of her fucking chapstick. <laughs> 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 it was fucking good though. Yeah. yeah, well, I mean, your intestines were probably, like, very smooth. Yeah, I thought it was candy. <laughs> <laughs> it was oh, my God. I, like, lock myself in the bathroom and eat it. <laughs> no shit. Yeah, okay, I'd open up the drawers and fucking eat the You're chapstick. You're actually a fiend for it. Yeah, I was six years old, and I was, like, for the I was like, man, why are they hiding all this candy in the bathroom? Oh, they think I'm stupid. Oh, yeah, I'll eat this candy. <laughs> it was so fucking mad. Oh, yeah, what's, like, the, um, so the dumbest mad, shit you've, like, eaten as a kid? Like, sand or some shit like that? <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, fuck. What is the dumbest shit I've ever eaten as a kid? I remember dropping a piece of salami on the floor, like straight up on the floor and picking it up and yeah, eating it right in front of my mom roll. and like looking her in the eyes and she, and she just fucking <laughs> smacked me upside the head and was like, don't eat food off the floor. I was like, what? What? And she, uh, yeah. It was probably, probably. I, yeah. I don't know what the dumbest thing I've eaten is, but when I was a kid. Probably. Read. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I read this book. Uh, it was a popular children's book called Wombat Stew. You might have read it, Mason. I think I've heard that before. It's an Aussie, yeah. Aussie book, I think. Was Bro, that's stew. how we got Corona in the first place. Don't no, do that. No. That's bat stew. Yeah. Uh, it's not wombat um, stew. Oh, wombat bat. stew. Right. Yeah. Uh, and it's just like this like little wombat stew, like little. Yeah, it's nursery like, a, like a tune for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I was really craving some wombat stew. So me and my brother, uh, Alex, I think, um, fucking got a wheelbarrow. And decided to make some wombat stew outside. What is wombat stew? Well, I'll tell you, man. Oh, awesome. Uh, honestly, we didn't really know. We were just kind of going <laughs> off uh, what we thought it could be in it. So we, leaves. And we got some leaves. Got a bit of dirt. Surely some mud. A bit of sand. Some mud for sure was involved. And the secret ingredient, can you guess? Wombat? We pissed in it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we pissed in the wheelbarrow. Uh, so, yeah, we, we literally were like, oh, we'll need something else. So we pissed in this w- w- uh, wheelbarrow. Stirred what, it like up together, or did you take turns. Probably together. We were How too, old were you? We were like way too young to even know what a penis uh, was. <laughs> 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 we didn't eat it. Okay. Oh, I was gonna say we, didn't we like mixed it with your hands and we shit, right? We didn't eat the piss. We, no, we didn't mix it with our hands. Uh, I, I actually can't remember. Oh, we're I know. that degenerate. You'd piss in it, but you used a stick at least. Yeah, to stir of course, it. Yeah. of course. But yeah, we peed in this wheelbarrow. How did like, you pee right. in it? I just dropped our pants and just pissed in it. How old were you? Probably like six or something like that. Like five. You were, you were, uh, it's just weird. How tall was the wheelbarrow? Uh, was it tall. like for kids? I think we just stood on something. I don't oh, know. Okay. Our backyard had like a hill. So it might have been like oh, a slope right, or I something. See. I literally have like like two mental images in my mind. Of <laughs> it's just, just you with a cock in your hand yeah. kissing. <laughs> the and the first is me with my cock in my hand. hand. <laughs> the other one is off the wheelbarrow, which was one bad stew. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's what we made. And I'm pretty sure we didn't eat it. Like, oh. pretty sure. So like, what was the stupidest thing you ever ate? Probably my own shit. <laughs> really? I, I don't know. I haven't. I have no idea what I've eaten. I can't remember. No. Probably my mom's cooking. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I can't remember like the dumbest thing I've eaten. I can't remember. Boogers either. maybe. I never ate yeah. boogers though. Yeah. yeah I never. Yeah, is yeah. anyone else here not eat boogers? I mean, nah. I, I ate boogers when I was like four or five. I used to just wipe them on things. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, have you ever like bag. flicked them? Like, yeah. I never get them yeah. like, like flickable. Yeah. I'd always yeah. just wipe it. Well, like, you, you'd, yeah. you'd dig them out and then you'd roll them in your fingers and then you'd flick them. I, uh, can't, I can't wait to get my Herman Miller chair so I could pick my nose and, and start a new collection <laughs> underneath the no. seat. No, you can't though. It's like the mesh on the so bottom. Right. It looks like no, your chain, man. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> I'll fucking do it anyways. I well, to, that's even better. It's got mesh. I'll, so it's I'll, dirty. Try to, I'll try to block out all the light that goes through it. Just make it a solid thing with just my snide. Yeah, but then when it's done, you just take it outside, just fucking spray it down at the garden hose, and you're good to go again. And I just bash it with a hammer, and it'll fall down like ice. <laughs> <laughs> I used to worry when I was little that, like, because I was wiping and flicking my boogers everywhere, that they would build up, and eventually we'd just have a bunch of boogers that were clearly visible. Because it had just been that many. But uh, nothing to worry about. You know, you always just, you know, you pick your nose, you just go... Yeah, and then it's 
not you just it's like it doesn't like exist. Forget. It's gone into yeah. a wormhole. And then you step on it, and it's on your sock, <laughs> and then you're carrying it with you for the rest of your days. When you spill water or like liquid on the floor, do you wipe it up with your sock? No. no. If that's I, a, you get any drip move. of water on the sock, you have to change the socks right really? away. No, that's pussy shit. But no, I would never it ruins your it day. Up. It's just like, fuck I don't it. Mind take it, it off. I don't mind it that much. It would need to be a lot of water for me to be like, ugh. Dude, I'll, I'll, like, I'll do, you know, if I spill a little bit of water or a little bit of olive oil or whatever, I'll just go, wipe really? it with the sock. I can understand a drop of water, yeah. but like a decent spillage. Well, water. you can't wipe up a puddle with your sock. No. No. Oh. But even like anything more than a drop. I, if it was a drop, I would just leave it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, they're a little air dry. Just, I, pre- eh. I presume you guys are uh, ice kickers. Kick it under the fridge if you drop some ice. No? I, I don't have one. an ice machine in my fridge. Oh. That's probably the weirdest thing I've eaten. Just fly ice. ice. Yeah. Like suck on it or like crunch it? Like suck on it and crunch. Like you just both. That's oh, fucking yeah. disgusting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you really. never had a bowl of ice before? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> ice, ice stew. Ice, so ice water. <laughs> <laughs> Solid water. Mm. Mm. You get mm. free ice stew. You just plop it in the microwave the right hard, in 30 the, seconds. The, the fucking hardcore people have, have steam stew. Steam stew? Yeah, they just hail the steam. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. It's, it's, uh, it's for weight loss. Yeah. yeah. Zero calories, believe Dude, it or not. I remember doing that for wrestling. You're trying to cut weight. Just have some fucking water for dinner. It's great. <sighs> Good bit of air. Yeah. Yum. Guys, we've, full tonight. we've reached an hour somehow. We've done it. <laughs> really? Yeah. We got there. It's pretty pretty decent. Uh, is that including our like five minute break? Yeah, uh, it's all right. It'll be replaced with a five minute spot. Yeah, it's fine. So, uh, Guys, it's I, I, it's our, a bit of a dusty episode, kind of straining here. But uh, yeah, there's something right. crazy during lockdown. Yeah, like well, once a week. We're gonna, story. We're gonna get on the piss tonight. So we'll see yeah, what yeah, for the boys. Yeah. Yep. Hope you're staying safe. Hope yeah. you're well. Hope get you're healthy. Piss, watch some land before time. It's gonna be a great mm. night. Stay inside. <laughs> we're fucking epic. Wear a mask. Stay off the internet forms. Yep. Stay and, off of uh, Facebook. Yeah. Have enjoy your quaaludes. Be healthy. Yeah. Yeah, Dollar know. Shave Club. Absolutely. Gamer <laughs> Subs. Absolutely. <laughs> Misfits Podcast. Absolutely. Absolutely. Listening on Spotify. Absolutely. Absolutely. Twenty four hours early. Etc. Bye bye. Bye. See you guys. Have a good one. <laughs>